with the legs. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, I've been to Japan for a few times now, and there's a video that a lot of you guys have been asking me to make that I've never made, mainly because throughout my life, I've just never really been into sushi or just raw stuff in general. I mean, I've had a little bit of sushi before, uh, once in the States and once in Korea, but I never really sat down for a sushi meal, especially not here in Japan. And this time, I've been here for about a month now, and my local friend has been encouraged me to give it a try. So you know what? I'm an open-minded food person, so that's why I'm at the Tsukiji Market and Sushi Zanmai, one of the most popular sushi shops in Tokyo. And we're gonna sit down for a proper sushi meal. And I'll be honest with you guys, I really don't know the first thing about eating sushi uh, properly. So I'm gonna have a friend show me the ropes. This is my buddy John from Only in Japan. Hey, nice of you to show me around today. My pleasure. Uh, you've been here, what, 20 years in Japan? 20 years, yeah. So you know your way around a sushi plate. You could say that, yeah. And we're right in front of the Tsukiji Market Gate right now. It's closed, really, really sad about that. Yeah. You've been inside. Is it? I, I am pretty sad about it. They closed this on, uh, to the public on uh, September 30th. This market will be moved officially on October 11th. Well, I've never been inside, but you have. Uh, is it as magnificent as we all dreamed of? If you love sushi, this was heaven. <laughs> you could see all the food that was still freshly caught, auctioned off, and then served right here at the sushi shops. My first time eating sushi, I'm glad to have an expert show me the ropes. Is there anything I need to be aware of? You have to be hungry, first of all. I always am. Uh, the sushi is super fresh here. Okay. You know, you can eat it any way you like. Sushi is the original street food in Japan. Yeah. But we now treat it like it's art. Yes. The reason why I'm going to this place is because it, it meets, it's not high quality, high end sushi like yeah. sushi's uh, jiro. Yes. This is like, hits that sweet spot where it's not conveyor belt sushi for one dollar. It's actually, it's just perfect. And this is your favorite sushi place. Oh yeah. All right. Oh yeah. I I'm excited. My first official sushi meal. And before we go, we're going to a shrine to pray for sushi. Okay, I, I, yeah, let's, let's do that. We're at the shrine. This is where you would pray, but I want to show you this. This uh -huh. says sushi. What god are we praying to? Is there a sushi god? This is a Shinto shrine, uh -huh. so yeah. It's just a place where you would give your respects. Businessmen would come here to pray, I guess, because it's right next to the inner market yeah. where the auction was going by, going by. So pray for success in business. Sure. Um, safety on the seas, things like this. But I like to come here to think that we're praying for a good meal. You know what? That is basically all I ever pray for. So <laughs> let's, let's show our respects. I, I saw how they did it before. Oh, they have instructions. Ooh, yeah. clap you wanna, twice. You want to give like five yen? Five yen, okay. Five yen's the magic number. Use five yen. All right, so. thank you, thank you, sir. Where do we put the five yen? So you throw it. Uh huh. Okay. What if you miss? Your meal's gonna be bad. Yeah. Go and ring the bell. Ring the bell. Yeah. So bow twice deeply. Pray, bow again, finished. All right, this meal better be good. Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> Welcome to Sushi Zanmai. I'm excited. I mean, they got me pumped. So is there anything that, oh, that's right. It's your first time. I don't know what. Well, I don't know what to get. So, cool. Well, in that lay it case, on me. In that case, I'm going to recommend that we go for a nigiri sushi. Here. Okay. I like this because when you sit at a counter, yeah. you get to see them making the sushi. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Wasabi? Oh, yeah. Hi. I love wasabi. Yeah. <laughs> There's a good balance between the wasabi. You don't actually need a lot, but the sushi chef will put the wasabi in yeah. into the sushi for you. You don't have to add extra. Oh, so like in between the sushi and the rice. Right. However, with that said, I kind of like to add a little bit more. I love this place because it's so vibrant, it's so live, people yeah. are shouting out. People are having a good time here. It's all about the fun with Sushi Zanmai. 
And you don't put the wasabi in the soy sauce? Um, now, a lot of people say that that's like a faux pas, something that you probably shouldn't do, but I do it, okay? okay. I think you eat it the way that you want to. Okay. And no one's gonna judge you, okay? You know, I, I love that about you, John. I do. I think that's why we can be good friends. So, I like to break the chopsticks, and we say this word called itadakimasu. I learned that in Japanese class. You did? In, in the US. That was very important to me. I remember that because I knew that word was gonna come in handy a lot down the road. Yeah, it's the biggest food word that you gotta know when you're in Japan, and it's kind of a way where we kind of give thanks for the food that we're gonna be eating. Kind of like saying grace. Yeah, well, hey, I'm thankful every single day. Let's do it. Itadakimasu. All right, so All right. do you drink the soup first or what do you do? Um, you can drink the soup with the sushi. Now the sushi is here on the counter. This is normal. A lot of the people, first timers, will put the sushi onto the platter here. That's wrong. That's what this I did. Soup. Right, and at first. Just, yeah, and then they told me, that, like, they said some stuff I didn't understand, but I, meant, I pretty much got the fact that I shouldn't right. have done that. But the sushi will always be here on the counter. Right. And you just take it and you'll dip it. Um, there is some wasabi, there is some ginger, and the ginger also kind of uh, cleanses the bacteria, they say. Yeah. For me, I just like it because it's ginger. Yeah, and it cleanses the palate between the pieces, right? Yes. Okay, so we're ready to eat. Yeah, we are ready to eat. <gasps> wow, seriously, the biggest bowl of miso soup I've ever seen in my life. It's so good, though. This is just seaweed and oh. fish stock. It's just so simple. Oh, this is magnificent. Mm. What do you usually start off with? Everything is really good, but I'm going to start off right now with the negitoro. Okay. Wait, that's the same thing I have here, is it right? Negitoro. What is a negitoro? Negitoro is is minced up tuna. It looks pretty. A little dip. Ah! Oh crap! I think I screwed up. <laughs> oh, I messed up already. Oh, I'm trying to rescue my tuna before it falls into the soy sauce. All right, that was definitely something you should not do, but I saved it. All right, I saved it. Here we go. Ah! Ah! No, you didn't. Oh, I fell on my tray. <laughs> All right. How was it? Wow, that's really fatty. That was chutoro. That's mm. the fatty part of the tuna. It's pretty premium cut. Is it wrong to say that's finger looking good? Because, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I touched it with my finger and some of the fat residue was still on it. I'll tell you what, that was my first bite of sushi in Japan. That was magnificent. That was like fatty. I mean, it was like a pork belly except for it's fish. It melted everywhere and that rice actually, every grain of that rice touched that fat and became like in, on its own, just beautiful as well. The taste comes together, right? Just the perfect amount of wasabi, the saltiness from the yeah. soy sauce, the rice and the magaro. I'm still like licking my chopsticks from that. <laughs> that was way better than I than I could have imagined it. Now I've seen kids do this. Uh -huh. I don't know if this is the right way. They will dip this, the ginger, into yeah. the soy sauce and then wipe it on like a paintbrush. Really? Yeah, I, I've seen people do it. I mean, that's that's probably the safer way to not like having things fall over the place. It's like food art. All right. Wow. Wow, that's spicy. Then you get to eat your handiwork. There we go. Do I just eat the whole lemon? I don't know. Excuse me, sir. Lemon, can you eat it? Yeah, don't eat the lemon. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm when glad I asked. When in doubt, ask the chef. Uh, it's okay to eat the lemon, but most people don't. Maybe don't eat the lemon. Okay, I'm going to not eat the lemon. This is kind of scary for me. This is like a whole raw shrimp. Oh, wow. You got one too? Yeah, actually, I got one too. We'll do, let's do it. All right, let's, let's do it together. <laughs> it's clean. It's so clean. There's a little bit of creaminess to it, but it's moist. This is a, a sweet shrimp. Not, not everybody's going to like it. I love the tuna way more than the, the shrimp. I'll tell you that much. It's interesting for me because I, I never had it like that before, but tuna for me was much more enjoyable. It's not bad, yeah. but it was just a little mushy. You're gonna get a variety of tastes. Everything is gonna have, everything's gonna have a, a different different touch on the palate. I'm gonna challenge you with the ika then. Next. Okay, what's the ika? Ika is squid. This is the white one with the le with the uh, shiso leaf on it. Here we go. I'm sorry, eating a garden. <laughs> It's really floral. Mm. Mm, wow. Oh, that leaf is insane. Very chewy. That was slimy, though. Yeah, you know, Ika is actually not my favorite. Probably no. low on the list, but it's interesting, isn't it? I love the leaf. It's, seriously, it was like chewing. You're like, oh, am I walking through a rose bush? Like, it's just so floral. It makes you happy. But then the sliminess kind of took it away a little bit. All right, what's next? Um, <laughs> let's go for Ikura. This is the prettiest because it looks like a treasure oh, yeah. trove. 
And I had this before in like rice dishes. I love how it all the little bubbles explode and covers up all the rice. And as soon as you feel like you, you need some flavor with the rice in your mouth, a little bubble pops. I like that. I love that. Now you have uni. That's sea urchin. Oh yeah. This is gonna be interesting, guys. I'll tell you what. I've said in the past, I don't like uni that much because it tastes like the ocean sneezed in my mouth. It's gotta be fresh in order to be good. I mean, I had this in Tsukiji and I was like, mm. I mean, I had it cooked. Ah, oh, okay, whoa. I, I didn't have the raw one. So this is the test. Okay, way less oceany than what I had before. The last time I had it, literally, it felt like a nasty sneeze from the ocean <laughs> right in here. Now this one is actually very fresh and extremely creamy. When you get it fresh, it's really delightful. Mm. So this is Aji, this is horse mackerel. <laughs> I love mackerel. I never had it raw though. That doesn't taste like anything. Interesting. Do you taste the mackerel flavor? When it's fresh, it's slight. It's very. That's why they add a little bit of the onions to it. Mm -hmm. That's why you dip it in a little bit of the soy sauce. It adds some of the saltiness, mm -hmm. kind of some umami taste yeah, yeah. come out of it. Almost like a refreshing piece of sushi, because mm. it really doesn't have a lot of very distinct, heavy flavoring. Right. Very subtle, like you said, very subtle everything almost. I think I like a grill more, but uh, this is interesting. I, I've seen, you, you've seen tamago, right? Yeah, of course. But this one, they've kind of shoved it in there like a sandwich. Yeah, this is really nice. It's almost like a Shinto shrine gate. I like that. Very sweet, very eggy. Sweet egg, there's just a slight bit of sugar mm. in there. That's no, it's really good. I really like that. I think this is caviar of some kind. Oh, I love this. It's ikura on a different level. Mmm. That's what I like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really crunchy. Love the texture. Yeah, I love the natural crunchiness to it. It's flavor like the ocean, like a nice little, it's a subtle little brininess to it. That's my second second favorite piece so far. Wow. This is some sort of fish. I'm not really sure. I never, you don't know. I, you, I never had that. You never had this one? It looks like a little bit like a sea monster. There are oh. like thousands of different kinds of sushi. I like it. That's my jam. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Very crunchy texture. Mm. Very mild. I think that piece is more about the texture. Mm. A little wasabi. It's akagai. Aka means red, and gai is a type of shellfish. Red shellfish. Ask for the red shellfish next time you're here. So this is like a, this is just a shrimp head. Yeah. Do you eat the whole thing? You don't eat the whole thing. I don't eat the whole thing. And you can see all the brains and all the organs in there. Yeah. Oh man, this is good stuff. You don't eat the legs or anything, right? I think you just suck. You can suck it out. That's the. Miso. I love this. Huh? Oh, I really love this. The legs are nice too. How are you the legs? You eat the legs? Mm -hmm. oh. A little crunchy shrimp crackers, man. That's good stuff. This is a scallop, hotate. I don't think I have a scallop. I have this though. Oh yeah. Green onions. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I love that. You get all this variety on the plate. Mm -hmm. And then when you get to the last two, mm -hmm. The decisions get hard now. Which one do you go with next? Either oh. that beautiful piece of chu, uh, chu toro, which is a, um, a, a premium cut of maguro, or this anago, which oh. is a freshwater eel. I decided already. I, I, I'm saving the tuna for last. <laughs> I, I, I love the tuna. So this thing, although it looks great, I'm going to eat it first. And I have a huge piece. Like pieces. Hi, hi. Okay. Cut, cut it by your chips chopsticks. Okay, okay. So don't try, to be a hero. don't try to eat it all in one, one piece. <laughs> yeah. I try to do that and they stop me. <laughs> like, don't do that. Yeah, don't Jack Bauer this thing. Just cut it up. Don't one bite it. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's smoky and sweet. Anago is in my top three. Ooh. Nagi and Anago, the eels, oh, because it's great. just so tender, isn't it? Yeah. This is way different than um the eel I had in Korea, which is crunchy, crunchy texture. This is like the opposite of that. Mm. This is completely melty. You could take a butter knife and spread that over toast. That's how buttery that is. You can cut this apart with chopsticks. It's so incredibly soft. That's great. Chase it with a little miso. I gotta be fresh for this last piece of tuna. A little yeah. ginger. Clean the palate. Oh yeah. I didn't know I, I didn't know I, I would like the tuna so much. This is for sure my favorite. I mean, this is remarkable how much I like this. Well, I appreciate your help uh, guiding me on this so sushi soul journey today. 
the last piece I dedicate to you, my friend. Thank you, Mike. I mean, I'll give it to you, but I like it too much. <laughs> it's yours. I live here. I can come here anytime. Mm. Oh, wow. Um, I, I kind of wish I had that last piece now. <laughs> Look at that smile. That was really good. That was satisfying. Save the best for last ultimate food strategy. The reason why I love this place, Mike, is because it hits this sweet spot in the market. It's not the conveyor belt sushi, which right. is really, really ultra cheap. Right. That's not bad. And then there's the high-end sushi that's just like way off the charts. It's more like eating art than it is food. Yeah. Here you can kind of just relax, be yourself, and it's just fun. You can relax and not worry about people staring at you like the chefs looking at you and saying, no, he's eating it wrong. <laughs> you can come here to Sushi Zanmai, eat the sushi, and have And a lot you can of fun. talk. Yes. Mo a lot of restaurants I go to in Japan, I'm, a, I'm afraid. I go in there, I'm like, uh, it's got to whisper, eat my food and get out. And there's no like, you don't have to wait a year for, your, for a reservation here. Yeah, you, you can wait maybe 10 minutes on a busy day. But the purpose of sushi to me is to have fun eating it. Having you show me the, the ropes and like these guys being all nice and giving me these great pieces. Yeah, they put on a show for you. I like that. I like being able to eat what they make on a beautiful platter like this. Yeah, no, it's gorgeous. It's art. It's reasonably priced. Yeah, how much sold? Mine was like $30. Yeah, but it's about $28. $28. Mine bucks. And this, this at like a high-end place would be like 100, 200 bucks. It'd be, yeah, three to four times the price. Yeah. Is this the guy that bid like $3 million on a piece of yes. tuna yeah. or something? Yeah, the shachu or the president of Sushi Zanmai, every year on New Year's, he will go and pay a ridiculous amount of money for the first tuna because he believes it, it brings good luck. Uh, they get the fish just at Skiji Market, at the yeah. market, just like everybody else. Yeah. But they found a way to make it affordable and hit that sweet spot for price and quality and I love it. This experience it was real it was really remarkable and uh, I'll definitely remember it for a long time. So thank you again so much my friend. And uh, guys don't forget to check out his channel. This guy is here in Japan all the time. His channel is called Only in Japan. The link is available for you in my description box below. Thank you all again so much for watching. Until we eat again. See you later.